to episode 9 of the Base Game Challenge with me, Walco. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? So, I'm now on my way down to the store. Now as you can see, money's gone up. Uh, time has elapsed quite considerably. Because I've put in quite a bit of time off camera doing quite a few jobs. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, and I've decided, as much as I love this fence, I think it's time really for an upgrade on her. So, reluctantly, I'm getting rid of her. Well, I say reluctantly, it's a workhorse. But because of its boxy shape, it can get a bit on the boring side. Now, there's been a few changes since I was on here last with you. Um, let me show you this to begin with. First of all, fields four. Well, if I pull this out, you'll see there is pretty much, apart from two down there, there is not a single harvesting contract apart from this one here, which is currently in the process of being harvested as we speak. So, and that's the contract that I'm doing now. I uh, got workers running on that because I've got bigger fish to fry. Now up here, I've got a worker also running up here because I'm currently getting that one to do, well, cut some grass. I bought an extra, I did buy an extra uh, tractor in the end already, and I'll show you that one in a moment. But I've also been doing a fair bit. I did a sewing uh, contract here on field four can't remember what was in there, I think it might have been sunflower maybe. Field 5, I did a f uh, cultivating contract, that took ages to do considering. Um, I know it was only an 8 metre uh, conti plow, but Jesus. Done, plowed contract on 6, harvested 12, harvested 8, harvested 14, 15, harvested 19, I harvested 23, I did harvest 26. And then we've got these two here, which I have cultivated. With this one here, 18, I did a seeding contract. And field 19, I did a seeding contract. Field 13, seeding contract. So you can see I've been doing a shed load of contracts up to this point. And I've done most of these off camera because I've already done some of this. And to be perfectly honest, we've been harvesting one specifically. Not being fine enough, and I just don't really want to bore you all. Um, I've done them so many times, um, and yeah, I know that if you say, I mean, yeah, I suppose with this specific challenge, there's not a lot that can be done really, and a lot of jobs are going to be the same and same and same. In terms of bit of areas, I've not bought anything extra just yet, but I will buy some of extra in a minute because I have now got enough money for this area, but I want to check to see on what I can buy after selling this fence off um, before I will commit to that because there's some other things that I want to do. I want to start getting, shall we say, the cows ready. I've, we haven't got no cow pasture yet. Um, because once I've got land, the last bit of land, the last field up there, that's what I'm going to be focusing on next is getting the cow pasture and that's quite a bit of money as well. Um, but the good thing is, is field two, I already own, that's now ready to harvest. Field three, um, if I would, well, that's, well, there is a contract on field three for harvesting, but if I do end up buying it, then brilliant. But I, what I am considering on doing is waiting before I buy it, do the contract for that. And once I've done the contract for that, do whatever and then buy it because then I should in a way sort of get double bubble but then again I suppose if I just bought it I could just sell the harvest I don't know it's falls in the games I don't know I don't know as yet um looks like worker B is starting to run out of steam right well let's get rid of this one first okay I've already done all the work up at the farm sell her off 500 I've had the most I've had so far in one go. Now these here, they're not mine, they're part of the contract. Um, because I've got my own trailer up there at the moment, dealing with that job. Um, oh, speaking of which, one sec, let me just port over to it. 
one second. Two to rescue, Thunderbird one. This stuff's got to go up to the ranch when it's all done. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave that to empty itself and then it should move off. Okay. Now, let's have a little look. Now, I'm going to go upgrade, I think. Now... Go with this one, the Case Pro, which is a good one, or the Case Maximum. I do like a good case. But that will only give me 175 brake horsepower, um, and that's supposed to be the upgrade. And that's 170, and that can give me 243 grand. Oh, well, technically it sort of is and sort of isn't then. Now, I'll stay out. I do quite like these. The 117 grand. Oh, John Deere. Hang on a minute. Let's have a little look. So, 164. That's considerably less. Belcher T. Yeah, that's a lot of money, though. Lots of money. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. I could go for the T6. 175 horsepower if I go to the highest. Work, work out pretty good. It's just for the extra jobs, because once I've got everything running, in terms of having all three fields going, um... And I'm still going to use the Tatra for doing the power as seeding um, and the Colty plow. In fact, one sec, let me just check the Colty plow. Um, 420 brake horsepower for that one, along with this one here, which is no, 280. So, I mean, if I get a tractor that can pull that, that's not really a big deal. I mean, uh, large tractors, yeah, no. And ideally, I know what one I would love to get, and that is this one here, the Veltra S. It's a brilliant, absolute brilliant tractor. Quite pretty as well. 400 brake horsepower, 317, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money at the moment. So, I'm... Uh, 170. Okay. And this could pull the seed along quite nicely. Okay, screw it. I'm getting that. 143 grand for oh, cool. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let's see. And what I'm planning on doing now, let's have a little look, is I've already got a few other little bits. Um, I bought a tether recently as well. I am planning on getting one of these normal plows because then I can do a plow contract with my own plow. Um, I suppose I could go out on the limb and get that, but I'm not a big fan of it. The reason why I'm thinking that is because the Tatra can pull that one along with it. Right. It's a front bit there, but then again, I have used it a few times on contracts. Mm. No. I might just get a small one, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, I'm bailing con a bailing. So 105 grand for this one. Don't need that uh, just yet. I might get it at some point, and then this 70 grand. Okay. That, nope, that, there is a plan for this, there is a method to the madness, okay, so I've got those two, oh, windrow, I need a windrow, 
So 8.5, I'm not going to bother with that because that's just, it's alright, but no, not for the size field we got. So we've got this, which is, I'm not going to say the brand, I'll probably get in trouble for it. 9.3 meters or 8.25. It doesn't really a lot in it. I'll go with this. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's get these up. Do not a good case. So why am I on this one talking rather than just a time lapse like it happened recently? It, it's good to check in with you, I think, just so you can see what's going on, or where it's going, um, rather than just pop after a fair while of not being online with an episode, so to speak, with extra money and go, oh, uh, this is what I've got. I want to show you what I've got, explain what I've got, um, where I got it from. Is you know it's fair only fair dues, and this is quite a nice tractor. Not the most elegant, but it's quite nice. I suppose you could argue it's a bit on the boxy side as well. It's just got I don't know it's just something about it. But since this is an American map, so a case, yeah, come on. So, the plan. Now the plan is simple. At the moment I've got silage up here waiting, which I will use uh, for the cows when I eventually get them. So that's part one. Part two, I need to have hay, and I need the hay to make the TMR. And then I'm going to also need straw at some point, which is why I planted in field two uh, what I did. Um, plus, obviously, I've got the chickens sitting over there as well. Now, they've actually been quite fruitful. I've already sold some eggs from them already. Oh, hello. Whoops. Alright, let me just uh, get this out the way. still a fair bit more to cut. I mean that the worker is only going to cut. Oh I'm surprised I actually hit that. Well it's only going to cut the field um, and there's still a lot more round the periphery of the field which I want to get. So this is the other one. A Veltra. The N series I got. Got it with my usual colour code. Black, olive green, the Walco Agricultural Solutions colours. So company colours, brilliant. And I tell you what, I just don't know what it is about a Veltra. I absolutely adore a Veltra. So we've got that up here. In fact, what we'll do is with you, I'm just gonna shut you off. And as well, it's actually quite Veltras are quite fast as well. Compared to their usual ones, it just looks pretty, don't it? It just looks pretty. Pretty little tractor. Oh, okay, it's got. And I'll come back and finish the mowing shortly. It's another one that I might just do off camera because I already done a hell of a lot. 
bit of shelling here. So, I mean, this cutting grass, I want to do some more silage because I mean, I've already sold off everything from that bunker there um, and put some in over the chickens. In fact, let's just check on the chickens quickly. So, we'll check as well in a moment on. I can't remember how much it was for that field there. Let me just check. Field 3 was 295. So, I've not got that in the moment, but I might eat, might make it back from the proceeds of 7 anyway. So, oh, hello. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, these workers. There's the edge, and there's still a, a strip all the way over forward there, which I've not dealt with yet. So I'll do that for a second. Um, check on the chickens. So once that's done, yeah. And so this whole chunk here is still left to cut out um, and harvest. So I'll be doing that next. Jay has completed their task. Yeah, that was the new my new Holland. And I am looking to get another harvester at some point soon. There's one more box. I've already sold a lot. And then there's... I can't remember how much is in here at the minute. But it was two trailer well, fulls that filled that up. Um, and that is just silage. Now we haven't got no um, multi fruits in base game, um, so multi lagers. Oh Jesus! So I can't really do much with that really in terms of where I'm going to put the silage. Um, I mean, yes, I could get the uh, baler, but well, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, it's just about rapper, shall I say. But I just want to get, I just want to fill up the trailer and sell it all the trailer, because it's going to be a right, right, you know, once I mean, I have calculated how much um, the equivalency of a 16 trailer is um, compared to the equivalency of, well, 16 collection in the Akusin. Um, as opposed to collecting with the um, trailer and it ain't that much different but the attacher is faster when it comes to moving the equip moving the stuff down so you know it's a case of yeah 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 I mean I might I might get that I might I don't know and then if I get the hay done now Then my thought is, well, just that's number one ready, and then all I need to do, and then is harvest field two, and then that will give me the barley which I can feed to the animals. I can put that in the silo by the trains, um, rather than sell that one off, um, and then the straw from it we can. That's it. Now they'll just bale that, and then we've got bales worth of. One a bell worth of hay, bell worth bells worth of straw, and bells and um, loose silage. So, win 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 the win. Okay. Okay, let's get this back in that one sec, let me just... Oh, hello, oh, what are you doing? Well, I was surprised it stopped at an unexpected reason. There is no unexpected reason, it's just, you're done, mate. Okay. 
I'm thinking about getting another harvester still at some point. Um, depends. In fact, I might look into that now, actually. I've already got my eye on a specific harvester. Just so I can start doing harvest. I mean, there's certain harvesting contracts, the ones that make the money, are on the big fields. And I'm having to borrow the equipment every five minutes. Yeah, see, that's not a good idea, you know. So I'd rather have my own equipment do the job. So, yeah, that's basically where we're at at the moment. Now, I'm going to carry on. Um, and I'm going to bring this episode to a close, because I'm conscious on the time. Um, and then, with the next episode, you'll be seeing me doing the hay. Um, and make my decision, I think. So, from me to you, do all take care. God bless, and please do stay safe.